In this special Jubilee Year of Mercy, Pope Francis called for a worldwide event known as 24 Hours for the Lord. All over the globe, Catholics joined in prayer, reflection, and penance. The Diocese of Orange was no exception. This is a big event for the Diocese of Orange in response to the invitation of Pope Francis to every diocese in the, in the world to host 24 Hours for the Lord on the first Friday and Saturday of March. And the first and most important thing about 24 Hours for the Lord is that it is an extension of God's mercy to the world. So we have priests hearing confessions round the clock the entire 24 hours. We also have Mass with the Bishop opening the event and a fish fry for people to get their nutrition in between, food trucks coming tomorrow, and a family story hour. And the whole 24 hours, there's not only confession, but also a walking labyrinth for people to pray, the Divine Mercy Chaplet and a rosary being prayed in the um, chapel. In addition to 24 hours of the Sacrament of Reconciliation, we have the Migrant Stations of the Cross round the clock. We also have the um, self-guided pilgrimage walk with Stations of Mercy. People can walk around the campus. There are various um, locations with um, signs on them that um, they can pause and pray. We have a very beautiful guide for them to, to walk those stations. So we have this wall, the Messages of Mercy wall, which is an opportunity for each individual to write out what mercy means to them or an experience of mercy in their life a way that they feel called to extend mercy to the world or a way that they need to receive mercy. Maybe because we're so preoccupied with so much else that we take for granted the gift of time. So we have a chance not to take for granted the gift of time that is 24 hours. I believe a special gift that through our Holy Father, the Lord in His goodness to us gives us to be with Him.